Hey, Tommy, John Holbert here. Just, again, thanks for coming down to Sarasota. Just wanted to go over a couple things. I'll start with one screen here from Faceon. Now, one of the things we talked about early was just to get a little better control of our lower body or our legs, okay? Because <clears throat> first and foremost, even with your the way your knees and shoulders are killing you, you might just have to drug up. But what you want to try to do is make sure that your lower body stays centered. So what I mean by that is hopefully you want to get heavily medicated, but we want a solid base. If you can have a solid base, then your right shoulder and your left shoulder are going to be able to get turned back by your arms. This was you in the beginning. We start to kind of take it away. But you can see how we really kind of sway with our, with our body and especially with our legs. So what I focused on or what we focused on in the beginning was saying, If I put anything where I had you kind of keep your balance, whether it be on a little disc or anything, all I was trying to do is that would get your left arm a little more across your chest, your arms a little more up. Then you would be able to fire your right side down on the ball. Okay? So the whole theory about anything where you're keeping your balance here is just to get your right shoulder to be able to really fire on that ball versus this way where we almost had to kind of stop and then get that chicken wing kind of look. So I was really trying to keep your lower body firm and by keeping your lower body solid we were trying to achieve a little more drive with this right side so you could really hit down and through instead of kind of pulling stopping your right side then obviously the pulling in look here that we've created with the left arm okay so anything with stability with your legs is going to be key Again, same thing you're going to see here when we talked about the second day with your driver. You look in the mirror there, look, stability in your legs is going to get that left arm a little more across. Then you'll be able to fire, again, fire your right side over or down the target line. Okay, we're going to be able to drive this right side if we keep our legs firm and underneath us. So when I told you swing your right shoulder away and then replace it there, that was a simple thought for you as long as you keep your lower body underneath you. Okay, now you can see here, Tommy, by you keeping your legs a little firmer, getting your right shoulder to kind of get a little more around you, look where that gets your left arm. We're not going to be so up and out of it. Remember, you used to pick the club up, everything straight up and down, then the club coming very steep. And then from this position where the club would come through your neck, you almost had to learn how to hold on or not release your left arm. Otherwise, the ball would go left. Start left, go left. Okay, so what you kind of, because of your habit of coming down here, you've never really released your front arm. Now, by keeping your legs solid, you're able to come a little more through your shoulder, get a little more in an athletic throwing position. Now, when you're there, you would say, all right, I can hit it with my right side from there. But we also need to go ahead and let that left arm come over. Right now, much better job of hitting it with your right side, keeping that club a little shallower, a little more through your shoulder versus 
through your neck and again you did that with stability in your legs a little taller setup now we just have to make sure we don't sort of hold on with this arm here okay we're still just holding on a little bit there and chicken wing sort of there now if you know you're coming this way on the downswing let me bring in a model here for you Okay, here, so here's a model. Now watch, here's a guy big in his shoulders like you. But again, I want you to watch. As you're coming down, you are able to get that club to shallow out. Okay, so you can see some, a lot of similarities right there. You get your balance, you get your athletic downswing. Here comes the club. But now watch how he kind of swings both arms and especially... Look at all that rotation he has in that left hand. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have an interlock grip or an overlap. Even with your 10 finger, as long as you have the club down in the fingers where you can go ahead and rotate it over. Like I said earlier, you're just not used to rotating. You're used to kind of holding. And then that elbow works high and kind of pulls in instead of firing your right side. Where now that elbow can kind of fold. Look how firm that wrist is. Look how he folds that elbow. And again, first and foremost, Tommy, you're going to learn how to fire your right side. Once you fire your right side, then we'll start, con or not will, but you'll start continuing to kind of rotating that left wrist, refolding that left arm up in front of you. You don't need to hold on you'll be able to really let it go that way and get that elbow to kind of stay folded down and a firm left wrist okay so again just like we talked about with these woods watch there's another guy big up in his shoulders okay we're just going to make sure we stay solid with our legs watch how he stays solid with his legs swings his right and left arm back then he drives his legs and again look at that little release that refold everything kind of finishes up in front of him with his chest where I had you close your legs here now look just that little bit of chicken wing out like that so you're starting to get your right side on the ball now as we're doing that Right here, you just got to continue to let that club slowly come over. You're starting to get it right there. That was one of your better ones where it was coming over. But don't be afraid to use that left and right hand as you're driving your right side forward. Use your big shoulders. Use everything to drive that right side a little more down and through, okay?